Tamar, get your live. Welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married. Uh, we're review and live watch review of Tamar. Get your live episode season one, episode two. This is break room uh breakdown. Now you know y'all, I don't I don't really care for Tamar. I think she's spoiled and she's rotten and her family has made excuses for her for her not to grow up, but she claimed she trying to get her life girl. And then you know I heard she was, you know, trying to take her life and I'm like, hold up Tamar, you know, you know uh we are church girl. We are a part of the secret society of the church girls of the inner circles of the PKs and we don't do that. So I said, let me just watch and see what's going on. And then last week in the first episode, this is season uh episode two by the way I know I'm a week behind but I'll catch up don't worry about that okay and then you know she went and got goldy and to, to, to connect with her unconsciousness and I'm like okay Tamar you know we don't do that okay and I'm just trying to see what's going on with Tamar because you know she is a part of the secret society of the church girls of the PK kids that you know we might not like you but we love you and when you get in trouble we gonna come see about you we gonna pray we, you know, if I like you enough, I'll fast because I'm not trying to miss no food, even though I need to lose a few pounds. Okay, my doctor said I'm overweight. Can y'all believe that? Anyway. And girl, if you like knocking on death's door, girl, I'll miss a couple of sleep for you and I'm going to shut in for you because, you know, we're church girls. And we know, church girls and the inner circle of the PKs, that the devil fight against us more than anybody else. And he try to get us more than anybody else because he got everybody else. And he's trying to convince us to come on over there. And so we, you know, as church girls and the inner circle of the PK, we have to stick together. And so last week, she, you know, she's trying to get, get her life and her kids saying and you know her and David they're shacking up and doing a carrying on and a part of the dream world assignment is no sex for how many 30 45 days and David is having a fit and I'm wearing my in Christ I am shirt today because in this episode he gonna talk about I'm a believer of Jesus Christ and I believe in the Bible and Jesus son of God and I'm looking at him like but you're shacking up David and you're fornificating and for those of you who want to say I want to judge you better go read that scripture on judge again he didn't say don't judge he said judge with the same measure you want to be judged do not be a afraid of being judged, judge, my beloved, my church girls, because basically what it means to judge is based on the information you are given, you need to make a decision. For example, it's fall. You see me in all of my fall uh, decorations. Okay, it's fall. Okay. Love fall. Love winter. Me and my daughter, we going for a walk today. It's, it's, it's cold. Am I going to go outside in this t-shirt or am I going to wear a sweater? So based on the information you get, you make a decision. So don't be afraid of judges. So I'm trying to see, is Tamar going to get her alive? Because from what I have seen, it's the same old, same old Tamar with the same old, same old shenanigans. And if she keep the bull crap up, you know, I can't be go. I, you know, I'm busy. I got stuff to do. I got books to write. Remember my other books also in Christ. I am available on Amazon. Get it quick girl. And 23 types of guys you might find Tamar problem is she keep choosing the wrong man. She had a man that a beat her. Then she chose Vince that she claimed allegedly was toxic. Okay. She choose wrong. They should choose another this, this year one. And then, uh, the naked wife or three, uh, the naked wife, uh, Tamar was the naked wife and she will continue to be the naked wife and she will continue to choose wrong until she sit down in the face of God and get it right. So come on y'all watch with me and let's see Tamar's going to get her life. Okay. Last week, I can't say, I can't say, well, when they got there, she was singing. So what happened to the voice? Okay, Lord, I just can't. And now Goldie, she's trying to get her connected to her unconscious, you know, seeing psychics and all. Church girls, we don't do that. Hallelujah, church girls, we don't do that. Huh? We don't do that, do we? And now she's supposedly having a breakthrough and all of this stuff. Looks like I could use another pillow right here, right? No? Okay. All right, so this is Tamar's house or is this Vince's house? This is week two. Not Vince. I mean David's house. Lord Jesus, is this the the director? Tommy, Tammy. She's just a kid. So, uh, what's the girl? Patty, Tammy. I tell you, Logan looked just like his daddy child. He spit that boy out. He can't deny him if he tried. 
Mona, Mona Scott, executive producer. Tamar needs to have somebody to keep her him busy and active because she's always busy around with other people. So he's just in his room playing. See, I can't be having all them people around my kid. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Hold on, you Okay, that's better. <laughs> Let's fall in love. Yes. Okay, so another problem I have with Miss Tamar, Sister Tamar, we're going to call her Sister Tamar because, you know, she is a church girl, is... All three years you didn't write a song, girl. Do you know how many books I have? Every time, every time I get a revelation, I'm writing something down. Oh, Miracle Tamar's there. That's a cute name. Oh, that's how she got the Braxton started. Tony lost in Monopoly, and that's how they started. The Braxton. Braxton's come back, by the way. I love the Braxtons. Because I love the other girls except this one. You know, I like her. I don't like her, but I love her, okay? If you're, you're not a church girl, you don't know what that means. I love her role, black and gold. That's my husband's fraternity. Oh, she ready to be in a, in a, a marriage to David? Getting, she's ready to get engaged to a man she allegedly said was bi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, did she get a divorce from her husband yet? Child, she come in adultery and fornificating. She says she don't want to get married again because if she gets married, she has to become David's wife. Why don't you have your own identity? And then she'll be back to square one, as in Vince's wife. She don't want to be married yet, but she don't want to be a girlfriend. Get my new book, Tamar. Stop wasting time being a girlfriend when you want to be a wife. It's coming soon. That's why I've been busy, by the way, working on it because, you know, that's why this is not done because I'm working on the book. 16 years. She was Vince's wife and Tame. Um, I don't understand why you can't be your own, have your own identity, even if you're married. She don't, she don't want to, so then Tamar don't need to be in a relationship. If you are fearful of being identified as Vince's wife, David's wife, you need to stay single, Tamar. Not feel comfortable in the studio. Tamar has invited Jay White to work in her home. This is his last day in town. She don't need to have a man. Tamar does not, I'm going to have to do a real review on this because this is deep. She's saying some deep stuff. She don't need to have a man. You need to stay single, stay by yourself, Tamar, so you don't have to be concerned about being being identified as Vince's wife or David's wife. Oh God, I can't. She she's one of see she Tamar. She ain't gonna get her no good husband. Jay Jay White' uh, plan is to get her to sing. She's a singer. What you mean get her to sing? I can't. See, this is what I'm talking about. The same old shenanigans. Same old shenanigans. And there's so many people in the house. Like, do you need really need so many people? And who is watching the little boy? Who's watching uh, Logan? That's a lovely name, by the way. I like, you know, what y'all call names like Logan and Michael and Janus. I like those type of names. And Joshua, and Taylor, and Tyler. Is she cooking? I thought she was supposed to be singing.
Right. It's set up for her to sing, but she goes into avoiding tactics but cooking. You're supposed to be singing, not cooking. And Jerry Wright, he's like, come on now. You know, you could tell he's annoyed by her because Tamar is no Whitney and no Michael, okay? We put up with, we'll stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning for Whitney and Michael, but you, Tamar, get your own downstairs and sing. Oh, Vin, oh, Vince is coming by. He he comes by and pick up Logan and drop her off, drop him off every day. And another thing, she left the boyfriend and ran right back in the arms of Vince. See there? Did, did you say he was abusive and toxic to you, uh, Tamar? Mm-hmm. Okay, so she said when she was coming up, they had to choose with who, which parent they're going to be with. I tell you, divorce, Jesus Christ. I pray to God I never, I never have to experience divorce, especially when kids are involved. Little kids, oh my God, I just can't imagine Michael, little Michael is with big Michael and not with me, or he's with me and not with big Michael. I, I just can't. Because even when we're home alone, when we're home, he run up and down, up and down between me and me and daddy. And I, I just can't, I, just, I pray to God that that will never be my portion. This is why it took me so long to get married because I wanted to make sure I chose the right husband. And we going to stay together forever till the day we go on to glory, okay? Vince came, and at this point in the film, and Tamar's ex husband Vince Herbert showed up at the house to drop Logan, their son, off. Okay, what happened? Tamar's boyfriend, David, has refused to participate in the series if Vince appears on the show. Oh, Lord. For that reason, Vince's appearance is omitted. Okay, so they take Vince out because... That's fair. He said, I prefer that my girl ex didn't walk in my home. That's fair. Basic respect, I agree. Oh, that's Tamar's house. Oh, he said that's Tamar's house, but we share, that's my house too, we share house. She, she he spends four days at Tamar's house and Tamar spent three days at, his house is so they have two homes, so they share a home. Okay. Mm, that's a sticky situation right there, but that's nice that she got her a house because, you know, she had that apartment. That's a nice house, Tamar. That's a nice house. I like that house, Tamar. I really like that house. I don't want to hear what's coming up next because I need to talk to you. Okay. So she's saying that he's, David is saying if her ex-husband come to her house up here on the show, he don't want to be, <laughs> he don't want to appear on the show. He don't want her ex in his house. No, that's, 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 that's a little different, David. That's a little different because that's her house and that's her, are they divorced? Did they get the divorce? And he's dropping the child off. Mm, I don't know. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about how David feel about Vince not coming over uh, while he's there? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I agree with David on this one. That's her house, so he's dropping. Vince is coming by to drop the baby off, so. I don't know, Charles. See, this is why I'm do. I can't live like that. Hello. I can't live like that. Mm -mm. That's why I can't live like that. All right. It's our commercial break. Hurry, hurry. And come on back. Come on back, baby. Come on back. Okay, so Vince dropped the baby off. Jay White is about to leave. You could tell he's annoyed by her. Interruptions, scheduled distractions, and the difficulty of getting to the voice, blah, 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 blah. The interruptions. 
Oh my God! Here go Goldie. We're in the noise of blah blah blah. The instrument cannot flow, but she can. She can flow in a, in two thousand people crowd. Eight forty p.m. She ain't sing a song yet. See who got time for that? Oh, I love Goldie's uh one piece though. I would definitely wear it. She's tiny too. Jay's kicking people out. Good. Get out. Get out. She claims she can't sing in front of people. Get out. There she go joking around. See, this is what I can't. I can't. I can't. This is the bull crap I'm talking about. I just can't with her. <sighs> Sing the song, Tamar. Sing, girl. Stop with the fooling around. Gold is sitting there like, you know, the psychic. Is it Goldie that said Jesus or Tamar? Jesus. It must be Tamar. Are they taking shots? Oh, instead of her singing, they're doing shots. Lord, you look at Goldie like. They're taking shots in Jesus' name. No, Jesus. They're taking shots in Jesus' name. Lord. <laughs> Goldie's walking out. 9.45 p.m. Still ain't sang a song yet. One more time. Can you imagine all day waiting for her to sing and then find a 940? I couldn't do it, child. That's maybe because I don't have grace for that bull crap. That's why there are some people who can do that work and put up and deal with people. I can't do it, honey. Just like I can't deal with a lot of other people's kids around me. Because, uh -uh. you know, that man was trying to make, try talk, tell my daddy he wanted to talk to me. He got five kids, girl. I was like, I don't need to meet with him for what? Who's going to take care of them five babies? Not me. Oh, she's selling the little boys is selling candy. She needs to get somebody to watch that little boy while she's busy. Who's watching Logan? <laughs> Jay's wife said, oh, oh, we're in a sale break. Too much, uh, too much. Gold is like... Child. Oh, I can't. I can't deal. I can't deal. Same old Tamar. Same old, same old Tamar. Has it changed one bit? Okay, she's dropping Logan off to school. <laughs> he says this video camera like he is so adorable. Oh, those cheeks. She is dropping him off or picking him up from school because she's asking about his day. And where's his booster seat? Where's his seat at? Where is, how old is uh, Logan? Is the Logan still supposed to be in the car seat? My? Y'all, how old is Logan? Logan is what, five or six? Is the Logan five or six? Isn't he still supposed to be in the car seat? No car seat. And I'm assuming no booster. Cause booster is what? I, I didn't see a booster. Booster is what? Nine? I don't know. I don't know, child. I have a five-year-old. He's still in the car seat. He's in the big, the big car seat like daddy. You know, his car seat is just, just big. So I don't know what age. Tamar is meeting with choreographer and creative director Kishan Brailsford to help her innovate her live show, reinvent her live show. Uh, Tamar gained a lot of weight, child. Mm, mm. Oh, he's good looking. 
So she's put, trying to put together a, a show with what song? Oh no, Jesus. Uh uh. Uh What kind of show we getting ready to put together? So she's doing a show with the songs that's not together yet? I don't get it. She want to do a show sometime in December. He's talking and she's texting. Can't, look, oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. He's saying it's going to be a hard thing. Look at her just texting. Is she text? Oh, she drawing a ring? Oh, she's drawing the stage. Look at her texting while the man is talking to her. And he's like. Same old Tamar. Executive person saying she's distracted. She's texting. she gets up and leave in front of interviewing the man to help her Corey up Kirk grab the show oh she was texting that she's leaving for two minutes because she got to talk to David she hugged the guy she said I, you ain't got to go but I got to take, take care of something on the radio he's there. David is downstairs She goes downstairs. By the time the cameras get there, she's already in her bedroom. So they're listening. They can't hear. Hold. Wait. Oh my gosh. He's leaving. He's saying, David said he don't like Vince walking in her home. He's home, but that's Tamar house now. Y'all not married. So he brought it up with Tamar while the people are there, David. And she got upset that it was not good. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, so their apartment, they live sleep downstairs. I can't do it. Child, I can't. I can't with Tamar. I can't. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this season. I'm just letting you know right now, you might not see me next week. Okay. Tamar has not heard from David since he stormed out of the house last night. She is headed out to blow off some steam. What that mean? Tamar's glam squad. All dudes. One, two, three, four, five dudes. Right, thank you. Somebody said, one of the men said, let him miss you a little bit. She's about to go do a drive by his house, girl. Bye. And the one of the men said, let him miss you. Let him miss you a little. She running after his behind. And who's got Lotte Mars received public criticism about comments she made on social media? This is a response she posted live. The truth is, ladies, that these dudes out here really do do be gay. It ain't enough money, beauty here, babies in the world to keep them. They want mm, period. So she's accusing David of being gay, and then she was attacked online for it.
So she says, you got a dude around you that don't want to touch you. Can't, it's either he get it up, he's seen somebody else, or he don't want no kitty cat. Woo, child. Is she about to say she going to work out? Ooh, she's a thicker. I wonder how tall is Tamar? Cause I don't see that roll. See, once you don't have that roll right there, you 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 know. So she must be. I wonder if she's tall. Is she the tallest one? No, Tawanda is the tallest one. She's in the gym. Yes, I'm thinking about getting me a um. Ah, somebody's twerking on the treadmill. Yes. She twerking. He twerking. He, he bent over like that. David takes Tamar for the first time since he walked out after their fight. He requested to meet her for dinner late that night. Child, she just can't be without a man. Child, just let the man go. Let him get a break. Hold him up. I ain't got no bra on. I got just a smile. Oh, they check is are they? Oh, they're putting cameras on her. I love her um, military gear, but I just don't love it for me. I would never wear military gear. I just, my my level of respect for the military and for the the flag is just different. But I don't know. I don't know if it's, I was just raised differently. So David is asking, how you been, Ma? He's like, how you? She's like, how you been? She was like, we miss you. It's only been a day. He was like, he missed her too. She was like, how you do that? How you miss somebody and get ghosts? He must be laying that pipe, honey, because she, from day one, she was stuck to him. But he do have money too, girl. Okay, he do have money too. Okay, I'll be stuck too. <laughs> Yeah, he got to take some time to think things through. She said you shouldn't have let it go to. How do you show up in a man's house? I heard he's been coming to the house more than once. Did you know that? Ooh, he want her to do something about Vince coming to the house. He work in my house. In my bedroom. In Logan's bedroom, not my bedroom, our bedroom. Ooh, she said, why would you get mad at me for that? Second time it happened, he said. Third time. I told you the first time. I don't want Vince in my house. So he was on a trip and learned that Vince stayed at the house for four days. So she's saying she's not deliberately trying to disrespect him, but her position is hard. He's not going to call Vince and say, don't come into my house, but it's not your house. They think differently, but you know, cultures are different, okay? <laughs> Coming up, they talk about dream, what DreamWorks is. <laughs> Excuse me. I cleaned up yesterday and forgot to put my mask on, y'all. I'm allergic to dust. Lord, Tamar's walking out. Mm -mm. Hurry on up, Tamar, with the shenanigans, honey. So Logan has another science project. Oh, I love those boots Tamar has on. Put them in a Coca-Cola bottle. Oh, I 
love the kitchen. Oh my god, I can't wait to have a kitchen like that. I hate my kitchen. Okay, my kitchen's tiny. Oh, the people are leaving. Uh. It's just love fall. Oh my god, I just love it. Okay, come on, hurry up with the with the commercials. And this one was a taste I can't fast forward. I just have to wait for the commercials to pass. So, I just, I really think Tamar needs to be single. She don't need no man. Not now. She don't know who she is, child. You know, how, you know how some women feel like you always have to have a man around you? And, um, I think that might be Tamar's downfall. Like, she, she don't want to be identified as somebody's wife, but she, child, okay, come on, it's back. I love the purple waterfalls. So she's eating with, in regards to Vince, David, you have, she, she, so David say he, Tamar needs to set the boundaries with him. I don't know how I feel about that. I just don't, it's her house. His David's name is not on the mortgage or the leaves or whatever. What happened? She had a conversation. See, Logan was upset when David left. This is why I don't like having all types of men around my kids. My husband, six months. I wanted to make sure he was the one before he met my daughter. Let me rewind this. What did he say? Because I was talking. Oh, my God. Logan said he thought David was not going to come back. See? Stop having these men around your kids. And stop shacking up. Church girls. This is for church girls. International, secret international society of the church girls. See, this is what happened when y'all keep having all these different boyfriends and uncles around your kids. They get confused. They don't know who's who. Gold is going well, you know, the psychic. Dream works. Pretty interesting, she's saying. It's just, she's asking him, is she, do you ever think you want to do dream works? Bandingo. I told y'all he got a big one, child. Because she... That's the only reason why she stayed with him. She got a big ding -a -ling and he got some money, okay? Chores. Everything you don't understand is not the devil. That's not the church folks' problem. That's the church folks' problem. We think everything is of the devil. He right. There's a source. Come on, shack it up, David. Teach the word. He takes anything that's spiritual, that spiritual God is from the Bible. And that's the confusion for him. That's the confusion for him. But you're shaking out. And you're fornificating. David. What the Bible say? Ooh, he said she can make you dream. That's a special woman. I said the same thing too. It's not of God. I agree, David. I totally agree, child, because I'm a dreamer. I dream dreams, and I can't just dream when I want to dream. I've been trying to dream for a baby for a minute, and I haven't. 
I haven't. I just started dreaming. I dreamt the other night. The Lord, the Lord spoke, and He said, "You need a, y'all need a miracle." And then I dreamt a little boy walking in my husband's clothes. Tamar has called Goli over to discuss an entrance dream from the night before. Lord Jesus, here go the dream again. So you, because she said dream, you go dream. Uh huh. Source. Dreams come from three sources: the devil, yourself, and God. Oh, she seemed hungry to do another dream assignment. So, everybody, I'm going to listen. Okay, so he not in this house. And such a dream again. Right? So, she has another dream about her sister Tracy. So, the family come to dinner. Family come to dinner. Party, which is crazy. Party, which is crazy. David and his niece. David and his niece. In front of the fireplace. I remember. I remember. Insecure. Feeling insecure. Excuse me, I just broke. Oh, my little boy said. She was feeling insecure. And, and then she dreamt. Two girls. One of the girls' name is Angela. Or Ursula. Or Ursula. I dreamt that maybe he was seeing somebody, maybe he was seeing somebody child. And then the and niece that was sitting there in front of the fireplace. Why don't you just tell her? I <gasps> <laughs> was Ellen. She's talk show to talk about the significance of Ellen. <laughs> Boom, here's your man dating another talk show host. Symbolism. And the niece knows it. What that means? Family secrets. Family secrets. Then she got up and started asking about Ursula and Tamar needs to be by herself. She don't need no man, child. She don't need to be with no man. <laughs> then in the midst of her talking to Goldie, the dream interpreter, the psychic, she gets a call. Ursula, oh, she in the dream, she felt betrayed again. Her, her paranoia in the dream is uh, her man is cheating. She don't need no man. Hi, Mike. I'll come say hi to your aunties. This way. Show this way, aunties, your cute uniform. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you smell just like daddy. I got eat you. I want to eat you. I want to eat you. Say hi to your auntie. Let auntie see your uniform. We don't care what Tamar say. Let auntie see your uniform. <laughs> Logan is home. That's Logan. Isn't he adorable? He's adorbs, just like you. He just look at you. Well, you're more adorable than he Because you're my baby. <laughs> Go see, go see, go see if your teacher's on. Go see. It is on. <laughs> they didn't send the link yet, Mike. Is it there yet? No, no, yet. It's page 42. Logan, um, Tamar needs somebody to watch Logan while she's busy with all these people. So she, Goldie, want her to act the opposite of how she's acting. Oh, she want to do he, her to do an activity that gets everything out. <laughs> she's 
like, 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 what you talking about? Goldie want her to scream and break things, and she's like, people go there to let us. She's like, that's for angry people. I'm not mad. Oh, she turned to the camera. She said, y'all want me to be an angry black woman? Like, she said, you want me to break and act like a stupid... Mm. Thank you, Tamar. The dream works is very internal. See, they want her to act like the ghetto black woman. See? There's things that people do. And she said, I'm not angry. I will give her that. Tamar doesn't come off as an angry black woman. She's a ghetto black woman, but she's not angry. <laughs> I always thought Tamar was ghetto by then. She was like, <laughs> look around, this is not my life. And the, the guy's like, let me tell you what I need. They want her to act crazy and angry. And she walked out, she said, every black woman's not angry. Thank you, Tamar. I might watch next episode. Ooh, the producer's checking her, honey. Mm. So this is David's apartment? She want, They want her to act ghetto. Ooh, the producer's like, this is not what we signed up for. Little toy, the producer says it's not a negative. It is a negative for a black woman to be thrown and getting angry. Stop that, Mona. You're a black woman. You know that's how they want us to act. No, she's not. I will get, y'all know I tell the truth. Tamar, I don't see her as an angry black woman. I've, I've never seen her as angry. I've thought ghetto, childish, immature, toddler, but never an angry black woman. I never, I would never see her throwing and breaking things, and that's how they want her to act. So I totally agree with Tamar on that. Don't be throwing and acting uh, angry. Wait a minute, what did he say? Can you come on camera with me? Because I want you to clear something up. Ooh, he was like, I can't be on camera. People think that you you have to push your shirt in. You know, sisters mm, want your shirt in. She said this came up. They already discussed that. She's not breaking stuff. She's. I'm not going to be on anybody's show thinking I'm trying to tear a black woman down. You want her to act angry. I'm like, okay, stop it, Mike. What's his name? She said, let me tell you from my experience. I don't think it's telling. Uh -huh. Every black person don't want to fight. Thank you, Tamar. Throwing everybody, black person don't want to drink, throw drinks in nobody's face. Yes. She's not trying to fight. Thank you, Tamar. Thank you. And then she walks out. Yes, honey. Well, she walks away. He's talking about the devil. Michael, come on over here, She was like, name one person I got in a fight with. She don't want to watch it, and she don't want to be a part of Right. She right.
lie, Mona. Stop lying. You want her to why? If that's like me breaking and throwing stuff, that's not who I am. No, I cuss you out <laughs> before I, I I knew the law. But I'm not gonna be breaking stuff. No, no, I totally agree with Tamar with this one. Mm -mm, they want her to act like the angry black woman. That she was like, I'm an artist. Let's put this mm, into artistry. They want her to break stuff and throw drinks in people's faces and stuff. I agree with you, Tamar. See, I always knew I liked Tamar. I always liked her. <laughs> he was like, my job is to make this show interesting. She was, he was like, I am interested. Walk away. Yeah, I got to watch. I'm going to watch this again and do a review on it. Because, honey, yes. Yes, Tamar. Go ahead, Tamar. Okay, so I totally agree with Tamar on this. They want her to act like the angry black woman. She's like, that's not who I am. They want, and Goldie's like, no, that's not what I want you. When she was like, Gold was like, yeah, I want you to act out something. She was, Tamar was like, what you mean? What you talking about? She was, Goldie was like, hey, would you like to break something? She was like, you want to act like an angry black woman? That's not who I am. Thank you for checking them, Tamar, because that's not who you are. I've been watching the Braxton, and I will say I have never used angry black woman as a descriptive word for Tamar. You hear me say, she ghetto. I knew she wasn't going to make it on the real. She's too ghetto for the real, okay? She, um, those girls on the reels, they're very feminine, very girly, you know, D Tamar, too much, okay? I knew that other girl was too, not going to make, she too masculine, she too militant. She can't make it on the real. The other one that just left the real, she can't make it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, can't make it, okay? No, Tam Tam Tamara, uh, Loni, and the other two girls, yes, they're all girly and feminine. And Loni knows how to um, adapt. Tamar doesn't, and neither does the other girl that one that I never watched this one either. But I have never used the word angry to describe Tamar. She's childish, she's immature, she's she's a toddler, she needs to grow up, she's spoiled, but never angry. And I'm so glad she checked them and said, No, I'm not going to be the angry black woman on my show. And I'm so glad. I'm going to watch again, Tamar. I'm going to watch next week to see what happens. Love you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm I'm a little bit, con I don't like to really use confused. Not sure I'm going to ask baby daddy about it. Baby daddy, let me ask your advice on something. Yes, please. Tamar has a house and her boyfriend, uh, David, spends four days there. But it's her house. David has a house and Tamar spends three days at her house. So at the, her, Tamar's house, her boyfriend, David, is saying, her ex-husband and baby daddy cannot come to the house. What do you think about that? He's David is saying that's his house, but it's not really his house. He just stays there half of the week. It's Tamar's house, but the boyfriend stays there four days, and then the Tamar stays with the boyfriend for three days. Do you think he has a right to say Vince can't come to his house, which is at Tamar's house? He can come to his house. He's, he's not spending the night. No, he's just dropping the baby off. So you think... Maybe he doesn't need to just meet up at Popeye's. <laughs> Mike said he could come to the baby season to meet up at Popeye's. Now he said you could drop the baby off, but don't come inside the house. Don't walk through the house. <laughs> Mike said I wonder why. All right, y'all. I got to go. I love you. Let me know what you think. I, I I need to think about that a little bit more. I think David is, I just think there's a differences of cultures and, um, you know, Mr. Culture is in here. Pick my books up on Amazon 23 Tessa Guys, you might meet the naked wife and in Christ I am. I love you. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment for me and I will respond. See you on the next one. Bye. Be sure to subscribe. I forgot to say it. Subscribe, thumbs up. Love you. Bye.